Samsung's next big flagship launch is getting interesting and a little confusing. Because depending on who you believe, the Galaxy S26 series could land earlier than expected, or slightly later. And Samsung might actually be changing more than just the date this time. At first, reports pointed to a late February 2026 launch, with February 25th being thrown around as the possible announcement day. That made sense back then, especially with Samsung reportedly doing some last-minute course correction around the whole rebranding situation. But then, just as quickly, another leak flipped the story. This one claimed Samsung would reveal the Galaxy S26, S26 Plus, and S26 Ultra in late January, with phones hitting stores by mid-February. Now we've got yet another report, and it sort of circles us back to where we started. According to South Korea's Yonhap news agency, Samsung is planning to host its Galaxy S26 Unpacked event in February. And interestingly, the location mentioned is San Jose, California. There's no exact date yet, but the month and location line up perfectly with those earlier February leaks. So right now, February is looking more and more likely. It's just a matter of when exactly Samsung pulls the trigger. But honestly, the launch date isn't even the most exciting part anymore. The real story here is what's going inside these phones. Samsung has officially introduced its new Exynos 2600 chipset. And this one feels very different from Exynos chips we've seen in the past. For starters, it's built on Samsung's 2 nanometer GAA process, which is a big deal on its own. This is a DecaCore processor pushing clock speeds up to 3.8 GHz, and it comes with the new Xclipse 960 GPU powered by AMD. On top of that, Samsung has added something called Heat Path Block technology, which is designed to keep temperatures under control, an area where older Exynos chips didn't exactly have the best reputation. Two major upgrades stand out here, and both could have a noticeable impact on everyday use. The first is storage. Exynos 2 600 supports UFS 4.1, which is the next step up from UFS 4.0. Qualcomm already jumped on this with its Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5, and now Samsung is doing the same. Since both chips support UFS 4.1, it's very likely that the Galaxy S26 series will actually use this faster storage standard. Samsung hasn't officially launched its own UFS 4.1 modules yet, but Micron's version gives us a good idea of what to expect. We're talking about up to 15% faster sequential write speeds, around 10% improvements in random reads and writes, and better consistency when it comes to long-term performance. In simple terms, apps should load faster, files should transfer quicker, and the phone should feel snappier overall. The second big upgrade is on the video side. Exynos 2600, introduces Samsung's APV codec, which stands for Advanced Professional Video. Alongside the usual formats like HEVC, H.264, VP9, and AV1, APV is designed to push video quality closer to a professional level with better detail and more accurate colors. Qualcomm has already confirmed APV support on the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 as well, so this is shaping up to be a big win for video creators, no matter which chip your S26 ends up using. And yes, Samsung is sticking to its usual split strategy. Reports suggest that around 25 to 30% of the Galaxy S26 and S26 Plus units will use the new Exynos 2600, while the rest, including all Galaxy S26 Ultra models, will be powered by Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5. The Exynos 2600 is already under mass production, which tells us Samsung is confident enough to put it back into its flagship lineup. So between a likely February launch, faster UFS 4.1 storage, serious video upgrades, and an Exynos chip that actually looks competitive on paper, the Galaxy S26 series is shaping up to be one of Samsung's most interesting launches in years. But what do you think? Are you excited about Exynos making a comeback? Or would you still rather stick with Snapdragon no matter what? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and if you enjoyed this breakdown, you already know what to do. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.